I am back. Hello. Uh, apologies that I've, I've been away the last few days. Uh, I have had a lot to uh, a lot to uh, go through the last few days. So apologies for me being late. I know I said to be back for my first round predictions, which didn't occur, and uh, on the quarterfinals as well, which is. Uh, uh, there's two more quarters to go but I'm just going to run you through basically the results from the first round of the Masters uh, Sean Murphy beat Ali Carter by six uh, frames to four Sean he made a, a, a blistering start I think he got to about four one in front and uh, four nil in front and uh, Ali started to fire back you know Ali started to show that the, the form that everybody in snooker knows that Ali has got but uh, Sean, um, the magician, um, he uh, he made some. Uh, he actually made a break of 119 in the second frame. Um, he made a break of a um, believe it or not, an alley made a good uh, frame four with 110 and a 99 uh, to follow with that. Um, he really was on fire after the interval. Uh, but of course Sean took out 93 as well and a 76 to win the final frame uh, and Sean played some great stuff there as did Ali to come back from actually being 4-0 behind to make that into a real real close match in the end another match from that happened just last night uh, it was the one of the final first round matches it was the final first round match uh, John Higgins 6-4 over Anthony McGill now, John um, bl uh, started to blitz first off, winning the first two frames. Uh, went tunnel in front before uh, McGill hit back with the next two and a break of 1 2 2 in the fourth. That uh, took it to a close interval, and it was nip and tuck from there. Uh, but John nicked again, uh, about the Scotsman. Uh, six four, uh, Barry the Hawk Hawkins against Kyron Wilson. Kyron, <clears throat> what I can say about this guy is he uh, he's really come into his own the last couple of years. He's playing uh, some of his, I believe, some of his best snooker of his career. Um, this guy is going to be a threat during um, during these Masters. I know that for sure. Um, also in the first round, the, uh, the defending champion Ronnie O'Sullivan, he got past uh, Hong Kong's Marco Fu. Not very well, he, he wasn't feeling too well Ronnie, but he still ran out uh, a 6-0 winner with breaks of, believe this or not, 120, 121, uh, 112, and a 75. This is a guy that was under the weather. Well, against Marco, his under the weather was more than Marco at 100%, it seems like. Also, Mark Selby, the uh, uh, current world number one, lost out to Mark Williams, as I've called him the uh, best single ball potter of all time, I call him. And he got past Mark, in a, uh, Mark Selby in a final frame decider, 6-5. Again... Uh, Mark, Mark Williams made it, made breaks of 135 um, and I believe a 76 as well in all that so uh, good break building by Mark Williams but it went all the way with Selby but a good win for him there uh, Mark Allen got past Luca Purcell 6-3 it was a bit of a scrappy affair that one there was no uh, it was really like, kind of like a scrappy affair um Mark Allen, though, I would say grinded out a result against Luca 6-3. And the first game, I believe, of the uh, of the uh, of the Masters this year was Ding Junhui against Ryan Day. Um, Ding really has been out of form these last 12 to 18 months. He really just cannot seem to get a string of results together. But uh, Ryan, no, uh, solid enough, 6-4, he he, uh, people aren't, I wouldn't say, 
people underestimating Ding. I think they feel at the minute as though, you know, they can. Uh, it can cause an upset. So six four for Ryan there, in that uh, in that first round game. And there's one more first round game I need to bring up to speed, uh, up to speed with. And it was Judd Trump against uh, China's Liang Wangbo. And uh, Judd uh, doing what the Judd not normally does, you know, made a break of 116, uh, 88. Uh, you know, solid enough. Liang made some great breaks at 139. Um, 72 you know it was a it was a it was a great match of 116 you know um, but just 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 scraping through there and uh, that sets up a quarter final tie with uh, Sean Murphy which I'll get on to in just a minute as we go on to the quarter finals which started tonight um, and this well one was tonight and one was this afternoon this afternoon Mark Allen played Rocket Ronnie and uh, Mark Allen had it really really comfortable really Ronnie just you could see Ronnie was not right during this game he he uh, never looked focused he was blinking his eyes quite a bit I think he is under the weather he's also made a statement in his uh, press conference that he may miss um, the world championship hopefully not for every, uh, every snooker fan concerned but he has said that he may miss the world championship but how many times have we heard Ronnie say that and then he's turned up uh, comfortable 6-1 win for Mark Allen they made breaks of 115, 85, 81, and 72. And 65 in his win over Ronnie. Uh, and the second quarterfinal um, tonight, Kyron Wilson had an easy path. You know, there was no real big scores in this. Um, Kyron went 4 0 up before the interval and really he he totally blew Mark Williams away 6-1 so that is where we are at the minute with uh, the Master Snooker Kyron is looking really 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 good you know Kyron uh, looked very sorry his Cuban looked good he looked confident around the table um, obviously tomorrow afternoon there is going to be a uh, a match tomorrow afternoon between uh, Sean Murphy and Judd Trump the uh, third quarter final and boy oh boy that should be a good one um, if I was to pick a winner out of that I would probably go for Sean on recent form but if Judd gets his scoring game going and quality is there, um, who knows? It's been a it's been a high quality uh, high quality tournament, and also um, the table has been playing beautiful. All, all the players have been praising how good the table uh, how good the tables have been. So uh, it's. It's turning into quite uh, a good tournament, and it looks like they could be going to be breaking the uh, the record. I think it's 31 centuries for um, the Masters. I think I believe in with the players that are still left. I think they will will beat that. Um, I really do. Uh, the table's playing lovely. The players are. Uh, are playing solid, strong snooker. They're break building, beautiful. It it's going to be an interesting, um, an interesting uh, last two quarters. I'll be back tomorrow with um, after the first quarter final. I'll be back uh, after the after the first quarter final in the afternoon. I'll be back with my prediction for the second quarter. Um, 
But yeah, how do you think, snooker fans? How do you think of this year's Masters? Are you surprised by Ronnie's um, declaration that he may not play in the Worlds? Or are you thinking, well, that's that's just conventional Ronnie, really? We, you know, we expect that he'll probably end up turning up uh, like he has done in the past. And. Uh, yeah, who is your pick for this Masters? Out of the out of the players that are left, out of the six players that are left in this tournament, who's your favourite to win it? Let me know in the comments below. Who do you think is your favourite to win it? Mine, I'll give you my prediction on who's going to win the whole thing. Mine is Sean Murphy. I think the uh, I think the magician will wave his magic wand and uh, win this Masters but the other six players that are in this um, that are still in this uh, deserve to be there so um, sorry eight players yeah six players that are left in there they, they all deserve to be there but who's your pick let me know and I'll be back as I said tomorrow afternoon with uh, my uh final quarter final uh, uh, preview and I'll give a prediction for that as well uh, stay tuned for that um, these videos will start to become a lot a lot better as well so keep with me uh, if you like the video like subscribe comment if you comment I will get back to you on this um, but yeah, let me know your prediction for the Masters uh, for Sunday and I look forward to seeing your comments and I will see you tomorrow with um, my final quarterfinal prediction.